All right, what up, Pepper Peeps? Just wanted to kind of show my grow setup. Uh, it has vastly changed over the last month or so, just with uh, new plants that I want to grow. Some uh, old plants that are done growing, moved out of the tent. I kind of have rotating out with another grow lamp and uh, some seedlings out of the tent that aren't really ready for in here yet. So just give you a quick little tour. I got over here this uh, Carolina Reaper plant that has been giving me the worst luck uh, since I got it. Um, it was I got it as a seedling and it's been it's been pretty rough I, I almost burnt it to death <laughs> left it outside too long trying to harden it. Um, it it made a recovery somewhat but never full strength so um, I actually repotted it to something smaller to kind of let it reestablish itself and I I chopped it all back uh, I just kept on getting flower drop and leaves were just dying uh, I don't know they were just not hanging in there so we'll see what happens over the winter now and maybe I'll get it to to reblossom by spring and have pods this year but for next year over here I have my, my yellow devil's tongue plant probably one of the best plants I had uh, over the winter all summer uh, got a few pods that are ripe they're tiny um, but uh, for me I think it's perfect I got it maybe about six or seven on the plant different stages I got a couple back there you can see uh, baby one right up front right there uh, let's see down here I got our PLC uh, grow challenge for 2020 these are my uh, BBGs uh, I think these two are mystery BBGs uh, that I got from like a grab bag seed from our seed bag from Nick Paris pepper pot Nick um, that in the back is an orange BBG7. I got seeds from Goham on that one. I move to the back. I got this sh sugar rust peach that isn't looking good at all. Um, it was one of my best plants that I had started. Um, and I am not really sure what is going on with it. It looks like I got some nutrient burn. Um, leaves are spotted up. New growth, however, doesn't look too bad off the top. So maybe it's gonna make a recovery. Uh, I just did a hydrogen peroxide distilled water root flush. Kinda just sprayed it um, until they're clean, I guess. I hope. That's what I'm asking for is a recovery. Uh, roots look kind of brown, so hopefully it makes a comeback. Uh, down in front here, these three are top secret. A little grow out that I got going on with some friends. Um, secret cross that we're working on so these are just F1s that will be revealed later uh, you can see the one in the back is also experiencing some some issues so I did the same kind of root flush with that one um, hopefully the peroxide will kind of kill down any maybe algae or bacteria that's growing on the roots and I, I just got it with distilled water now for the next couple days kind of give it a flush um, these baby plants these two plants actually sprouted at the same time but uh, this one seems to be doing a lot better than this little guy this flower bud is from I think my devil's tongue so yeah I mean he's he's okay he looks healthy he's tiny leaves compared to that guy I mean, it's kind of crazy in the back here, I got my Solo King Star Lemon Starburst plant. It's a 
strong little plant. I mean, I planted him. He's tiny, but he already's got roots poking out the bottom, which was surprising to me with how tiny it was compared to my other plants that had double cups. So that's going on there. That little guy here is my little mini humidifier. I got this set up in my basement so the humidity down here is like 30% so every once in a while I gotta kick that on to boost it in my tent here. Um, moving on over here I got a, uh, my PLC Winter is Canning 2019 contestants. Um, this was my orange habanero in a can. Um, this one was my best plant. I had flowers on it. They looked like they were getting ready to set fruit. Um, then I had a little unfortunate mishap where I opened up my, my grow tent a little too quick and the flap for the front hit the can. It fell out of the tent, flower side down and cracked off all the stems. So I had to trim it back. That happened almost two weeks ago and looks like it's making a really good recovery though um, a lot of new sprouts a lot of new growth uh, so there's that going uh, this guy is a ghost red ghost I put it in a paranormal hoptivity can I topped it so it's really bushy um, overall looks pretty good I think um, given the circumstances that it's in a can. Uh, I just sprayed in here too with a little hydrogen peroxide water. Uh, just kind of in the air just to kind of see if that helps clear up some stuff too. Um, this is now my front runner for the can challenge. Uh, also in a paranormal hoptivity or paranormal mosaic can it's another ghost plant uh, Bujolokia but it looks like it's doing really well uh, there's two plants in here one obviously the run to the two but definitely look looks like I'll have flowers soon really healthy looking plant for just being in a 12 ounce can um, and I have back here the bigger plant here is a chocolate habanero. Uh, one of my better looking plants that I had. I've only had two pods come from this plant uh, all year, so now I have more showing up and they're looking nice and pretty. Another one back here, another couple. So they're good. It's probably one of the hottest that I've tried actually out of my plants. Um, I did a whole pot challenge uh, a little while back and that was probably the hottest pot I ate all at once. Um, the whole mouth burn. Um, but really good flavors so got a couple more of those going so that's nice. Um, so my tent is just a two foot by four foot uh, grow tent. I'm using Sansi grow lights. I have this 36 watt grow light, 70 watt grow light, and then another 36 watt grow light. Um, they're on a 12 hour on, 12 hour off schedule. Just two little clip on fans. I think I got them from Walmart. This one just runs to circulate. I have this one, I turn this one on uh, every once in a while. I'll have it on for a day, then have it off for half a day. This one just kind of regulates humidity and fresh air exchange. So, yeah, that's that's the grow tent. Uh, I do have it on a little platform. Since my lights are kind of strung up on clips, I can't really change the level of them. So I just change the level of the plants. I actually have them just on a couple five-gallon buckets, some two-by-fours, and then a piece of plywood just to get them elevated. Yeah. So, I'll show you the rest of my basement. Excuse the mess, because it is quite the 
area that I, I wish I would keep up better, but um, so over here is kind of like the plant graveyard where I kind of moved them out of the tent and put them on this table to kind of give their their last hurrahs. This is my scotch bonnet plant. I kept it around because it had a lot of flower buds on it. Kind of did some light pollinating to see if anything took. Um, nothing has taken so far so I kind of just set it out here to let it live its last few days to like clear it out. It was just taking up too much room in the grow tent with all the new growth. Here's my first orange habanero plant. I have one left on there, finishing up ripening. Um, I've had this for three years, so it's trimmed back way now. After this uh, summer, I trimmed it back. Um, here is a dying jalapeno. I got two jalapenos off of it, but I wasn't too worried about it. I was just growing it just to grow. This is the, the dying <laughs> Tabasco plant that I actually had crossed. My first cross, which I'll be getting into in a little bit. Uh, so that one's there. Uh, this is the Peter plant, Peter Pepper plant, that has only given me one good looking Peter. Um, the plant overall fairly healthy, but um, all the pods are all over the place with the shape see that here there's one and another one that's kind of just all over the place two more pods there so got a lot of pods this one even has a little tail on it here it's a decent sized pod but doesn't look like a peter to me well a healthy one at least and then last but not least the real dead this cayenne that I had, I have these pods just drying out. They actually started degrading before they were even ripe. So that was kind of disappointed, but uh, they're dried out now. I don't know if the seeds are going to be viable, but I'll save them. Maybe try to plant them. So that's the, that's the graveyard. Move over here. It's a bar I built in my wine crate wall that I also built. There's my bar. Now this is kind of the baby section over here. Like I said, don't mind the mess. But over here, this is one of the Tabasco crosses that I saved seeds from and it sprouted very nicely. Little baby plant there. This is a BBG of some kind. I put in rock wool, trying to do a little hydro with it, um, just as an experiment, because I haven't tried that yet. Um, this is supposed to be a bohemian goat. I don't know what it's doing, but there it is. <laughs> and then, uh, here I have two more bohemian goats in rock wool on a heat mat. Hopefully they, they catch. I put them on there to the 14th to... For the grow challenge for the Chasing Capsaicin group that we got going, uh, that is growing by leaps and bounds. So that's on Facebook if you want to join. Tons of awesome people in that group. Uh, another cup, double cup of uh, tobacco... Tabasco cross, hoping that that sprouts. Um, but if it doesn't, it's okay because I got six Tabascos. It looks like I accidentally put two in that cell and none in that one because it would have sprouted by now. But Tabasco and orange habanero cross, these are the babies that have started from that. Um, this little cubicle here is kind of like my, my rehab, or uh, I don't even know what to call it, but. <laughs> I got two really bright uh, lights in here, LEDs, and I just kind of rotate plants in here in this little box to give them bright light on like for 24 hours if I notice that they, they need it. This is a, my ghost plant. It's pretty bushy. 
Looks like it's ready to push flower buds pretty soon. Buds all over the place. So we'll see. I don't know. I was going to turn this one into a bocce because the stem was looking pretty sweet. But we'll see. I don't know. But took too much of your time now. 15 minutes if you watched it all. I appreciate it. All right. Talk to you guys later.